Alrighty, Captain. So today there was a question in the Facebook user group uh, asking about switching cameras using a MIDI controller. So what I've got here is my Tractor F1 and I have four of the buttons set to momentary. And here you can see I'm cutting between these cameras using a select child node. Uh, now the big thing with a select child node is you need to be able to send an index. And normally when you do a MIDI note, it's just going to send it on or off. So what we've done here is we're using an accumulator system. So let's step through just one by itself. So back to zero, we're receiving a control in, so MIDI modifier. This envelope here is just in case you want to hook something else in quickly. Running a quantize because we want to make sure it is a full one or a full zero. Now let's step into our accumulator. This top one really doesn't matter because this is our zero line. So this is getting zeroed out anyway. But what we're doing is we've set it to positive value delta and clamp to max of one. Now, the main reason we want to do this is um, we are going to use the next one to multiply our values. So this row here will be our zero row. So whenever this is triggered, we want the output to be zero. When this line is triggered, we want this one to be one. When this one's triggered two, this one's triggered three. Then we add the outputs to together and we get our value here. So zero, one, two, and three. Now you might be wondering, well, if we're triggering this off, if we add these together, how do we make sure that only one of them is sending at a time? Um, inside the accumulator, so if you double click on the accumulator, there is actually, I'm gonna scroll in so it's easier to see, a reset input. So the way I've built this out is, this quantize for the top row, when this is triggered, we want it to pass through this value. We also want it to reset the other three accumulators. So similar here, when row two is triggered, so one, uh, we want to then come in and say, this quantize modifier, we want to pass this through, but reset everything else. So we want to reset this to zero, reset this to zero, reset this to zero. So this accumulator will be a value of one, we're multiplying it by one, and the output is surprisingly one. So you're coming to four. So we've now reset this accumulator back to zero. This output is zero, but the bottom output is three because accumulator plus three, output three, camera three. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just gonna offset these just a little bit so you can sort of see it a bit clearer how they all sort of talk to each other. So if I grab the outputs of here, it'd be hard to see, but yeah, they do zero out these three accumulators. That's how I would build out a MIDI run um, camera switcher, especially if you are in Builder or standalone. Uh, in a block, obviously your MIDI server would handle this by itself. So I hope this was useful and have an awesome day.